I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way to turn. I want to be great in life. Please show me the way. the voice of the kids they are telling you that you should show them the way show me the way fear no me these children you know they are the future they are, they are going to be the leader of the of tomorrow and uh, these children you know, you see what is happening in our uh, community today you see the moral decadence and then uh, you can see the prevalence of the social vices 
in our community is because of the uh, the poor parenting and the, 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 the parents are no longer they are no longer available to teach the children they go in the morning they leave the children to themselves they go to school after school the children they are behaving anyhow and uh, you, you see broken homes and uh, these broken homes you see that the children will be left alone mother has gone to marry another man another man man also has taken another woman and uh, this thing will not end and uh, even the family those who are still together do they have time for these children in their presence, you will see nagging, you will see abusive language from the husband to the wife and the wife to the husband fighting. Uh, and the drunk, the drunk around them will be drinking. The positive will be sending the children to go and call somebody for them. And uh, all this thing is making the children to become wayward. Our society will not be cleansed. We will not be what it ought to be if we are not giving time for the children. So show them the way. Show your children the way, be a good mirror, be a good example, portray good conduct, character before them. If you are living a negative life, you are living double life before them, and you want them to become good, how possible? How possible? The children, they take after whoever is leading them, or they, 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 they learn by example. They easily take after whatever they can see, they can, they, they can, they can, they can push, they can, they can see in their presence. So please, as a parent, try and one thing is this, you cannot give what you don't have. That's just the thing. What you don't have, you cannot give. If you don't have good traits, you don't have Jesus, you don't have the Savior, you don't have the source of good character, conduct. Life that is genuine and renewed. You don't have the source. How will you be able to, to give the children? So I want to invite you. Come to Jesus. He loves you. If you if you deal with the source, you come you as the parent, the source of the of the children in the family, husband and wife, you come to know the Lord and you are living a godly life. Your godly lifestyle will be emulated by the children. They look at your way of prayer, the way you pray, the way you talk, your, the manner of conduct and everything in the family. They will take after it. So, please, stop shouting on this, on this children that hey, you are very, very nasty. You are, you are this one, you are incorrigible. No, they are not the source. They are not the one that causes it. They have witnessed some people, bad examples, bad mirrors. So, from today, Jesus is calling you. You can come, you can, you, you can, you have to give your life to Jesus Christ. Once you do that one, well, it will renew your life. Then your family will be blessed and your children will be the Lord. Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 22, verses 6 and 8, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So teach your children. If you are a parent that is of the attitude of leaving their children at home while you go to movie church or Bible study or something, it's not good. Let your children go to church with you. And you take your children along to Bible study, to fellowship. They will also they, they also listen, they will pray, they will know the God of your father, they will know the God of their father, they will serve the same God that you are serving. And I pray, your children they will not be wicked. Your children will not be trancy. Your children, they will not be problem children in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. You first may pray for yourself. You say, Lord, help me. Help this my own. Help this my marriage. Oh Lord, touch my spouse. Touch me. Oh Lord, save me. All this evil in my family, I don't want it again. Come to the source. Come to the one that the source of the own. The one that originated family, marriage. It can help you to amend your home. Give your life. And as you are giving your life, you now pray for your children. Oh Lord, every evil attitude, bad conduct, and character in my children, by the power in the blood of Jesus, oh Lord, flush them out. Oh Lord, take them away. Oh Lord, save my children. Save my own. And the Lord will bless you and bless your own in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, you are the originator of all marriage. And uh, I pray in any of the marriage, or any of the marriages that uh, is witnessing rancor, animosity, almost at the edge of breaking. Lord, I pray that you are going to interfere in Jesus' name. All the children who are becoming problematic, incorrigible, I pray you are going to touch them. 
Save them, O oh Lord. Save the family. And I pray you are going to bless this family. And the nation at large will bless our community. will be a beautiful place to be and to live in Jesus' name. Thank you because you are fans In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Your home is blessed in Jesus' name. And your children are blessed as well in Jesus' name.